everyone <clears throat> welcome back to my channel it's Elsa the bargain hunter I'm here to bring you a little bit of everything <laughs> I hung up my um garland for my cards I received my first two yesterday and I received another one today so I decided to start hanging them up and in hopes of getting more from you guys um, I got another one today from uh, Kayla I'm oh, sorry I was gonna say her whole name and then I said no I'm gonna just say uh, her name her channel name is uh, Stella Italia princess Kayla 92 I think I want to say Procaccini um, but I call her Kayla so I got a card from her today and I've already um, sliced it open but look at the back guys I don't know what's up with the post office but this is how I received it so I was a little bit upset about that but at least it wasn't completely opened the rest of the opening was done by me so that's okay um she also added some stickers in the front so they don't like color in stickers so that's cool and a little snowflake in the back so they that was cute so i'm gonna open finish opening it oh, oh. You see any clothes? It's so cute, guys. Look at him. This is the cutest. That is too cute. Uh, give me one second. Oh, look at all these stickers. They're so cute. I love the washi tape. Look at all the stickers. It's the coloring stickers. And she used two different washi tapes. The top one says Merry Christmas, and the side says Ho Ho Ho. And I believe this. Yeah, this is a stamp. That was cute. And she wrote, Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. From Kayla P. And then the card inside says, May the magic of Christmas fill your heart with good cheer. Thank you, Kayla. I love Rudolph. <laughs> Kayla, I wish the same for you and your family. And thank you very much. I have to send out my cards. I'm hopefully this week. They have the cutest um, Christmas postage stamps, so I'm planning to get at least two books of stamps and um, get my cards out this week. Um, in case you guys haven't seen it yet, because I just watched it a few minutes ago, Kayla posted a video. She's making Christmas cards, and guys, they came out so cute. Kayla, Kayla you did a good job. Um, let me know what card stock you use. That, that paper is very nice. And the washi tape. I'm having trouble finding washi, Christmas washi tape. And the ones you have on those cards are beautiful. So let me know. I think I commented in the video and I asked where did you get the materials from. I would love to know because I, I love I love all the cardstock you used and the stickers. And I believe you used some stamps on it too, which is really cute. I'm just going to hang this up right here. And, um, this is nine feet long. There you go. It's nine feet long. So there's still some extra going on. So we'll see. Um, you guys like my shirt? I got this last year. I got, had it get made for the uh, kids. And this is Grandma's Little Elves. And then I have the elves and all the kids' names underneath each elf. Just thought I'd share that. <laughs> um, along with this video, I wanted to ask for you guys' favor. Of course, um, you know, I'm just starting crafting and stuff like that. So I needed some help with this. Now, yesterday I was watching Linda's Thrifty Life. And she uh, mentioned getting a Kindle uh, on Black Friday. And I said to myself, I have a Kindle. I just got to look for it. Now, I've been here for a little while at this apartment. But my stuff has been packed. Uh, you know how when you move, you unpack the important stuff. And then some of the stuff stays packed. So I have a feeling I packed my Kindle and I um, uh, forgot all about it. So yesterday I remembered that I had one, so I started looking for it. And um, no luck, I couldn't find it. Now I don't know if I couldn't find it because I wasn't looking hard enough. Because I started looking through boxes that have been packed for over almost five years now, and um, I found <laughs> I found my class schedule from 1989. I found my class picture from elementary school in 1979. And then I found some stuff that belonged to my mom. In that stuff, 
that I found that belonged to my mom was this. Now, mom had this hanging in her kitchen until she passed 13 and a half years ago. And when she passed 13 and a half years ago, I had it hanging in my kitchen until I moved five years ago. So it was hanging for a good, a good amount of time, almost 10 years. But it's collected, and then it was packed, and I forgot that I had it until I found it last time. Now, it's because it was hanging in her kitchen, and then in mine, it has, it's pretty sticky, I guess, I guess from the grease that was there. But I believe Mama had it hanging over her stove, I'm not sure. But I wanted to retouch it, but I'm afraid that if I do that, I don't want it to lose its color. Now, I know the chimes, if I can't find them, I would like to keep the originals. I have an idea of what to use to clean it. I wanted to change the string. And I wanted to change the strings on all four chimes. And there's like a keychain, key ring type holder. So I wanted to replace that, of course. And this string. Now my biggest, which is easy. Now my biggest concern is the figurine itself. I want to clean it. I'm thinking soap and water, but I don't know. I don't want it to lose its color. So this is basically an angel little angel leaning against against the crescent moon on top of the clouds but it's you can you guys can see it has years and years and years of buildup on it and um i wanted to retouch it and hang it back up so i was hoping you guys can help me out and give me some requests on how i can do that without messing up the colors i know the colors will become vibrant once i wash it out but i just i'm just scared to mess it up so if you guys can help me with that that'll be great like I said, I'm going to try to keep the original original chimes and take it from there. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be great. It will mean a lot to me. Along with this, I found my mother's favorite red hat. It was like a baseball cap, but it was red. And her favorite red scarf with the rose on it. It was a silk scarf. Needless to say, I cried a little bit last night. And I also found a pair of her glasses. <laughs> the old school one. It was, oh, brought back memories. And I cried a little bit. But I never did find my Kindle. But I am moving in the end of December. So maybe at that point when I start rearranging, I did they have done a little bit of packing. So I'm hoping that somewhere between now and the day of move out day, I'll find it. <laughs> we'll see. Guys, also, in this video is my gift card announcement winner announcement for my giveaway i hope everyone entered i think everyone did enter because i had over 50 entries guys that was exciting i was so happy to see that and i've written everyone's name down it's in here i couldn't find my bowl and then i put it in a little you know that orange bowl that i use i couldn't find it it probably still has leftovers from Thanksgiving in there. By the way, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I don't know if I asked that yesterday. But I'm asking it today. Better late than never, right? <laughs> so I had over 50 entries. And all the names have been written down in parentheses. If I remember to put a parenthesis, is with their name is what card they chose. Yeah. We do have a gift. This is what I got to put my kids, my grandkids' ornaments in. These are all the entries. In this little tin and the winner will have 48 hours uh so monday afternoon it is now three o'clock so by monday three o'clock you will have 48 hours to notify me via email and um if by three o'clock monday i he i don't hear from the winner i will withdraw a new winner that evening maybe around eight o'clock because I'm pretty sure I have a few things to do Monday. Uh, I don't know. But we'll see. Um, but Monday evening, you have 3 o'clock Monday afternoon to notify me. And then on Monday evening, uh, if no contact has been made, I will withdraw a new winner. Okay, guys. You have 48 hours. The winner will have 48 hours to notify me via email. And you will get the gift card of your choice. It's going to be a $20 gift card to the store of your choice that you mentioned in the comments. And it's going to come in this little box little gift card box that i grabbed last year as a matter of fact so 
I'm going to put some use into it. So it's going to be sent in that. So without any more Jim Bible sticky notes. Oh, big mistake. Well, they all stuck to each other. Okay. I folded them that way. So let's see who the winner is. I can't even see through the can. Okay. Let me just make sure one is stuck. Is that one, guys? I think it is. One. Oh, let's see who it is. And the winner to my gift card is... Get out of here. <laughs> The winner is Stella Italia Princess Kayla 92. Kayla, and it's awesome because she just sent me a card. What better way to thank her? <laughs> Kayla, you have until, and I know it's not going to take you long because Kayla's always one of the first people to comment on my videos. I mean, she's on top of things when it comes to, um, there we go, when it comes to um, commenting on videos. She'll be on top of it. She, she will. She will comment on your video in a, with her quickness. <laughs> so Stella, you are uh, Stella. Kayla, you are the winner. To my, I'm so happy. Kayla, you are the winner to my gift card. Please notify me via email. I will leave my email in the description box. And this computer keeps shaking because it's on the it's on the table. I'm sorry. I'm um, sorry. You will have till Monday. But I have no worries, no concerns that you're going to miss out on this because like I said, you are on top of things when it comes to watching videos and commenting. And I love you for that. I wish I could be like you because I'm, I'm horrible. I'm horrible when it comes to commenting. And I'll view the video and then I'll like it and then I'll forget to comment and then I'll go back. I'm like, I'm horrible. But Kayla, Kayla's on top of things. I, I got to tell you guys, she don't miss a beat. <laughs> I love that. So guys, that is it for today. Kayla, congratulations. Guys, congratulate Kayla on her winnings. She really deserves it. She's such a sweetheart. And she does so much. And the fact that she's doing her own um, greeting cards is awesome. You guys have got to check her out. She, Kayla, tell me where you got that paper and that washi tape. Please, I'm begging you. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Kayla, congratulations, sweetie. And um, I don't think I have anything coming up. I could be wrong. Actually, I might do a video tomorrow. It's my son, my oldest's birthday tomorrow and then my middle child is on the fifth so i was planning to dedicate a little video to them you know just a little something just to say happy birthday they don't watch my videos but at least when my grandkids get older maybe i can show them <laughs> guys have a good day stay blessed love you bye